Welcome. First Lady Harmonic here. It's been a long time. Holidays have come and gone. We are into the second week of January, which is one of the best weeks to begin trading after the holidays. And uh, I am proud to say that I am ready to be back. Although I have been taking some trades um, within the holidays, but not really off of my harmonic um, trading, in which in, in which I normally do almost pretty much about 90-95% of my trades. So currently I am looking at GU. Someone brought something to my attention early in reference to GU. Um, pretty much a cipher pattern and so that caused me to look at this pair which is now becoming a pair that I think that I'm going to put on my list to trade for next week. Again as we spoke about many weeks ago because trading harmonics is about 95 or more percent um, accurate in trading the market. It's based off of market flow and structure, Fibonacci's, uh, quarter points, support and resistance. I use the quarter point theory as my support and resistance. The reason why I love the quarter point theory is because once you mark them on your charts, you will never have to mark support and resistance again. So again, we have this 1.45 quarter point target for this crab pattern that has been playing out for such a long time. It's actually been playing out since 2017. We're now in 2018. And I'm assuming sometime within the next maybe within the next month and month and a half we should be hitting um, this target here. I am currently in a buy on this and just holding watching it go up and down just holding so this is what it looks like on a daily time frame the higher the time frame the stronger the trend the more likely that your harmonic patterns will um, play out it's more likely that when you put a pending limit order in um, that they will be uh, respected so now what we're looking at we still see that we are in an uptrend as you can currently see here if you can see my mouse hopefully you can you see that we still are in a in an uptrend here. We have broken this level of support. Of course, we broke a we close above the 1.35 quarter point, which means the next target is the 1.375 target, which it is sitting at right now. So there will be some type of reaction at this quarter point. We're going to watch and see what kind of reaction it is. And we're going to take you down to a lower time frame which is the four hour to see a little bit more about what's really going on in the market um, from a, an area which we can actually trade. <clears throat> so again, what do we have here? This here I have drawn out is a butterfly. A butterfly has a B point of a 786. Once I see a 786, I know what my D point should be and what I am looking for. So relative high to relative low relative high to relative low all of this consolidation it rises all the way up to my 786 which is right here and then it falls harmonics are based off of impulse legs so the way that I read um, impulse legs this is one impulse leg this is one impulse leg this is an impulse leg and so forth so this is how we begin to understand what impulse legs are, how we are to start measuring them. Um, a lot of people may get confused with this consolidation range right here, but you see that it never broke past the A. In fact, it started making higher lows. It went to a high point, which was the 786 retracement mark. Then it fell, did not break the previous low, made a higher low. And now I'm looking for the D point to end at my 127. Um, like I said, once you reach a B point, after your initial XA leg and you have a 786, the only harmonic pattern from that standpoint would be a butterfly pattern. Um, your C point can be anywhere from a 382 to a 886, so that doesn't even really matter. Um, but your D point will be a 127. So that is how I, res I got this pattern that is working out right now my B point has been broken and as we can see we are technically at the 113 mark let me just get rid of this <clears throat> we're at the 113 mark we always like to have a level of confluence a confluencing factor um, when speaking about harmonics not just 
taking trades once you hit a D point because you know some harmonics don't always play out sometimes you mock them up wrong and so forth and so I usually have an of I call a full move um, Fibonacci a B back down into a I'm looking for a 1618 and as you can see my 1618 is here so let me put down my 127 is as well just to Make sure we are all lined up. I have it marked up. Okay. <clears throat> my 127 and my 1618 line up perfectly, which means this is a Fibonacci cluster, which means this is a very strong, very strong level of resistance. So, what I most likely would do, being the aggressive trader that I am, sometimes I would wait for a uh, confirmation that we are going down um, into start taking the take profits of the 382, 618 and so forth or I would put a sell limit right here or I will wait for price to wick a little bit past it as a stop hunt and then put a sell limit right here so that way on its way back down it grabs it and it continues to go down those are different ways in which I particularly uh, take my trades I am a bit aggressive as Ryan already knows and most people that know me they already know but here's what I'm looking at as far as this is concerned here um, someone brought to my attention that this could be a possible cipher as well that's in the making and a cipher looks a little bit something like this so we have the initial low to high we came back down to a 50% but now we're sitting at a, uh, a 1414 uh, Fibonacci which is a cipher completion um, of the uh, C uh, ratio on this cipher um, so we could see some like a double top here and then come back down to the 786 which would be like right here I'm gonna draw it out for you yeah, X A B C D Mac. This is the, the possible cipher pattern. We are sitting at a quarter point. Okay, when that does that. We're sitting at a quarter point level here. There's always going to be some type of reaction. So most likely it may shoot up, form a double top somewhere around here, and come back down um, to this D point here. And why I kind of like this as well at this level is because it's still hot making a higher low, which is still in confirmation of my buy trend heading towards um, the completion of my bearish crab at the 1.4145 quarter point but at the same time as I really analyze this um, this 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 move right here and seeing how close the completion of my butterfly is I looked at this as a possible shark and the reason why is because the 50% usually is a bat or a shark because it hit the 50% um, usually if it's a shark sometimes it will hit the 113 we've hit the 113 we broke past that hit 27 broke past that now we're sitting at the 1414 so me personally I'm going to wait for uh, further confirmation you see my 618 here the bat C, C ratio can be uh, 113 to a 1618 so that's why I have this box drawn as a zone and most likely I think that price may reach up into the zone actually complete this butterfly pattern as well as the C point of a shark which would then make this more like this for me X A B C D again still forming a higher low so I see two potential patterns here. Let's go back over here. I see two potential patterns here that are very significant. Um, again, here we are above the quarter point. If we close above the quarter point, really the next kind of target would be um, the point 1.4. So we can see it may come back down, bounce off the 382, um, and then continue up don't know you get price action if I go to the, the daily chart to see exactly this particular zone 
if we're in any kind of significant area. Look left. Let's see them down here. And look where we are. Here's an area of structure right here. If I look left, structure leaves clues. And look where we are. I'm going to make this red. That way we can really identify. Let's make that red. So now, it is a very strong level of resistance. It's actually a level of resistance because at one point it was support. It was never tested as resistance. It broke through. So now it's come back up to test. <clears throat> and retest, actually. Uh, previous level of support into a newfound resistance level. So yes, around the 138392 level, I am confident that we may have a nice reversal. We may even try to wick right up into almost a 1.4 um, for a um, fake out and, and then drop for some nice pips there. So uh, GU is on my radar to trade next week. Um, I'm going to put some other pairs up um, a little bit later on this evening. If you have any questions as far as how and when to enter or what you're looking at, if you find a harmonic pattern or want to know if what you're looking at is in harmonic pattern, feel free to hit me up on my Facebook page, okay? Until the next chart confession, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.